Hello everyone, this is Professor Taramati Nakur from Government First Grade College, Kumbur. Today, we have a video on accounting theory for BCom Pearson on Unit 1 Introduction. It's a first video on the first unit. This video contains meaning and definition of accounting, meaning of theory, meaning of accounting theory, development of accounting theory, nature of accounting theory, and characteristics of accounting theory. Now let us first understand the meaning of accounting. Accounting antandre enu. As per American Accounting Association, accounting is a process of identifying, measuring, and communicating economic information to permit informed judgments and decisions by users of the information. So accounting antandre users ke beka giro information anna process maadi kododu anta arta so in simple accounting is considered as a language of business it helps the users of accountants to understand financial health of business okay now come to the meaning of theory theory andre enu theory is a set of is a systematic statement of the rules of the principle which govern a set of phenomena. In simple, it is an explanation of given topic. When the topic is the theory of the Meaning of accounting theory. Accounting theory is a branch of accounting which contains or includes assumptions. So accounting theory this is a branch of accounting. So, this is assumptions, principles, methodologies. So, this is the apply accounting. So, while preparing financial reporting, principles and methodologies and assumptions are used, which are provided by accounting theory. In other words, accounting theory is a set of conceptual, hypothetical, and pragmatic principles which help evaluate accounting practices. So, you know, present accounting practices in Tavala, other than now evaluate Madhu. Mate, Hosa Yaud now practices and introduce Madhu. Atwa procedure and now follow Madhu. Okay, so theory and practice go on together without division. So, Andre, theory and practices has a matching. Definition of accounting theory. So the most popular definition comes from Kenneth Most. Accounting theory is that branch of accounting which consists of a systematic statement of principles and methodology as different from practice. Sometimes theory is different from practice. So it happens sometime in case of normative theory. Now you can see development of accounting theory. It has four stages. Pre-theory period, general scientific period, normative period, specific scientific theory. Pre-theory period, during this period, no accounting theory has emerged. General so it has framed the theory on the basis of empirical analysis, relying on real world observation, not merely on logic. Logic prakarana we have the accounting model. On the basis of accounting practices of accountants, the theory was formed during this period. The next comes normative period where we have norms for doing an accounting. It tells you how to do accounting. It involves hypothesis testing. And then when the out of the situation comes, that is when the set goal set made. If there are no accounting made, go and then here that all do normative theory. So this period is called normative period. That is from 1956 to 1970. Specific scientific theory. So it started from 1970 until we take it as a specific scientific theory, where it is going to explain and predict accounting practices coming to the next aspect of accounting theory that is nature of accounting theory so the accounting theory can be positive 
that is also called as descriptive theory. So here the theory is formed on the basis of the present practices. So this theory explains the fact as they are, but not as they should be. But in normative or prescriptive theory, this approach to the formulation of theory describes the way to do accounting. So as I said in the earlier, companies, format, companies Act has given some forms or schedules for preparation of financial accounts. So this is called as a normative or prescriptive theory. So other points of nature of accounting. So there is no single theory. It is a collection of theories. Practices of accounts are given much emphasis. So they are the real contributors to the development of accounting. It gives logical reasoning and explanation of existing accounting practices and helps develop new ones. It consists of statements and propositions based on logical reasoning. Characteristics of accounting theory, they are self-contained, they develop procedures, examine and examine the true and fair view of accounts. They develop methods, different methods are available. Scientific accounting theory because they are tested and proved, so we call it as a scientific theory. Set of principles, it has many principles, so it is not a single principle, so accounting has many principles. Pragmatic in nature, so all principles can be put to practice. They are coherent set of principles, so accounting principles are coherent. So with this, we would like to conclude. If you have some doubts regarding this for further study you can go through these references with this we would like to end up this session thank you thank you once again.